You know, when we first started Global Citizen, it was this idea, and we weren't sure there was even going to be a year two. And so the fact that we've now become the largest movement working for the eradication of extreme poverty on the planet is just a tribute to the hard work and dedication of millions of global citizens around the world. Right now, the world is facing so many issues that are directly related to being a global citizen, whether it's the war in Ukraine and the impact on food security, or COVID-19, or the challenges ultimately around actually making sure that we can ensure economic inclusion for everyone on the planet. All of these issues related, and they affect all of us equally. So we need global citizens to rise up like never before. Well, all of those issues are inseparable because to empower women and girls, we need to make sure women have access to sexual and reproductive health and rights. To make sure we protect the planet, we need the US to fulfill its obligations under the Paris Climate Change Accord. And if we're going to end extreme poverty, we need to make sure that the current SDRs that the IMF and the World Bank have locked up are unlocked for the world's poor so they can use that capital and put it to good use. These are very simple policy measures the world can adopt. That's why we need global citizens right now to step up like never before. It's a huge tribute to Chris Martin of Coldplay. Chris Martin called Lars and Metallica, and then Lars stepped up immediately and got all of Metallica mobilized. Mariah Carey reached out and said she's wanted to perform Global Citizen forever. And then Usher and SZA and Stormzy went all the way to Ghana tonight so that 20,000 more global citizens could unite all at once all around the world.